Hi, everybody. How are you guys? This is the Brooklyn Born Tarot back at you with your weekly reading. It's nice to see you, and I'm glad you're here. All right, so before we begin, I had all the readings done, and then Spirit guided me to delete them and do them over because there's a message that has to be put out there. And it's in regard to your participation in these readings, okay? Now, I'm a light worker, and I know that YouTube has a lot of competition with tarot card readers, but I'm not in competition with nobody but myself to be a better person. So I'm going to say this on behalf of all the tarot readers on YouTube. If you enjoy the tarot community, whether it's for entertainment purposes only or whether it's for, you know, that you really believe in divination, you know, I've seen my most favorite tarot readers who could really channel and stuff. They're up to begging and bartering with you people for likes. Like, say, I'm not going to continue on, or we're not going to do the next sign, or whatever it is. I'm not about to bake a barter, all right? Not going to do it. Got a lot of fire in my chart, and, and that's not happening. What I'm going to tell you is this. You know, we're not raised in caves, right? So, when you, I know for me, whenever I click on a reading from one of my readers that I like to watch, before I even see the read, I hit the like button. Do I know if I like the read or not? No. But that's my way of saying thank you, and that's also my way of putting good energy in, because there's... So many of you out here that I can promise you, you could cut the density of this energy with a, with a hatchet, all right? So whether you, yeah, whether you want to hit like, look, see how the phone is there, right? Pretend this is your phone and your thumb is there. But put your thumb to exercise, all right? Let your thumb exercise. It doesn't matter if you hit like, and I don't care if you hit dislike. I could be the most disliked reader now on, on YouTube, or maybe that's going to be my goal. But, you know, if you're not putting your energy in, and you decide whether you want it to be positive or negative, then you can't expect the readers to pick up on it. You know, and also, you know, it doesn't cost anything. Nobody on this side of the YouTube thing could see who's liking or disliking, so you're not going to be called out on anything. And, you know, it's the kind thing to do. So, you know, it's like this. I'll give you an analogy. You go to go in a store, little old ladies walk and you hold the door, and then you walk in and maybe you find a $5 bill. Or you could be like a smart ass like I was last week and I gave somebody the finger and then I came home and under this nail posture you can't see, I went to bang a nail and I banged my whole finger and I got a big black mark. So you decide whether you want to put negative or positive. Believe me when I tell you I got a lot of fire and air on my chart, I can take being hated. But on behalf of the whole YouTube community, because I've seen readers with 100,000 subscribers and they're, you know, begging and bartering for 100 likes. That's absurdity. Put a like or a dislike. Add your comments, right? It's like voting, right? That's first of all. Secondly, the second part of this message that Spirit is making me say is that, and I'm not trying to call anybody out. Trust me when I tell you. But if you got readers that you can't see the cards being shuffled in your face, and I'm talking in your face, because if you could read cards, there's no reason why you can't read them in somebody's face. So you should be seeing them getting shuffled. And then when we do this, you should be seeing them, Spirit popping them out. If you can't see that, and the cards are laid out, or you can't see what cards are coming out. In my mind, when I'm watching a reader like that, I'm going to tell you something. Something for gazy is going on. All right? They're making up a narrative. Divination is not to be used as terror tactics. So somebody's telling you there's hedge witches and the covens of devils after you. It's a bunch of bullshit to scare you with terror tactics, all right? So that, you know, you keep watching them or you get, you know, freaked out of your mind. Divination is used as a little roadmap in case these situations pop up in your life, right? That you're better aware of them so that you can handle them in a more mature and, you know, of your higher self, okay? So that you can vibrate higher. That's what this is all about. This is not about trying to drag people down in the mud and scare them to death. So don't fall for that shit, people. Don't do it, okay? So that's it. So the last thing I want to tell you is that I got this little dog, Delilah, right? She's been with me for years. She's my spirit guide. She's a little three-pound chihuahua, but she's a godvone that overeats, which is why she's so fat. Lately, she has not wanted to be off my lap when I'm doing readings. So introducing Delilah, she's going to be on my lap, everybody, from now on, because I really believe that she's helping me channel, and she's here for a reason, right? Usually she likes to just sleep because she overeats. So this is Dilly Dilly, everybody, all right? So she's our little mascot, all right? So she's going to be on my lap from now on when I do readings, and you're going to get, like, rubber arms from uh, the Fantastic Four because i got to make the room. But it is what it is. So on that note, I'd like to thank you ahead of time. Don't forget, put your little thumb to work while I'm over here jabbering at the jaw. You know, like, dislike me, do something, subscribe, don't, I don't know, share the video. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified. Sorry, Delilah, I don't mean to scare you with the cards. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And I don't mean to sound abrasive, but I, I have a lot of air and a lot of fire in my chart and my tongue. Believe me when I tell you, it's gotten me into more trouble. 
It's just the way I sound because I am from Brooklyn, New York, all right? This is the way we speak. Really, my moon is in a water sign, and I am the biggest marshmallow going. But unfortunately, you know, this is the way I sound. So there's all that. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's get started. Don't be a gavon with the readings or with anything else. That is to say, sharing is caring. So I encourage you to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest to someone else. Time is linear, so these readings are timeless. When you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. I may say he or she because I tend to read what the card says, but you could be in either your masculine or your feminine energy at any time, right? So on that note, please apply the energies that are being read and channeled for your own personal situation. And don't make something yours that's not, you know, not everything's for everybody. Like I said, YouTube is a very big place, right? It's worldwide. The energy is so dense, you, you, I, couldn't even, I couldn't even begin to describe it to you, okay? So on that note, let us begin. It's with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to deliver clear and concise messages for the sign of Taurus for August 5th through, no, from August 8th through 15th. Right? Yeah, that's what we're doing. August 8th through 15th, 2022, or whenever they come across it. Hi, Taurus. How are you guys? I hope everything's well. And if nobody told you today, I love you. Okay? So here we go. Spirit and ancestors. We're calling on ancestors recently because, uh, yeah, they're not liking this heat. They're a little on the uh, froggy side. And so the, the energy is a little bit stronger. Okay? Please help me to deliver clear and concise messages for the higher good for the collective of Taurus. The higher good, not to terror them, okay? For the collective of Taurus. So, here we go. Okay, so now you're seeing them shuffled. Knocking them out. Taurus, show me Taurus, please. Show me Taurus, please and thank you. Okay, two of pentacles. Pentacles, earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. That's weighing options that you need a balance. So some of you out there are sick of weighing your options. You're not in need of balance anymore. So you made, a, you made a firm decision about something, okay? So that's that. Now let's see what you're being challenged with. I don't know why I'm not being told to shuffle again, but we're just going to do whatever spirit says because we only work here, right? Your challenge. Show me the challenge, please. Well, not all challenges are bad. You know, you can be challenged to do something good. We take flippers. Is the two is the queen of cups. Okay, cups is water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, you know, this queen, she's the mommy. She's loving, helpful, charming. She's the mom queen. She's family oriented. She's fair. She's balanced. She's creative. She's open minded. She's loving. So either you got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your midst that you're being challenged with, but a loving one, or you're being challenged to pull this water energy out of you and be more loving, you know, helpful, charming, and supportive. Okay? Now, above you. What's above you in this situation? Please and thank you, ancestors. What's above you? Show me. Oh, Delilah's becoming a little uh, attention whore over here. All right, the fool. Okay, so taking a leap of faith. This is an Aries card. It's zero in the major arcana. This is, you know, not jumping to the left or the right off the mountain, knowing you don't have wings, maybe growing them on the way down, right? Letting go, letting God, you know, a wing and a prayer. So, yeah, that's above you. So that's, you know, possibly didn't happen yet. And don't forget, we're all on different timelines. So some of you could have went through this already, or some of you are going through this right now. But yeah, let's see. Below you, underlining this situation. This is the Celtic cross, by the way. All right. I just laid it out differently. It's like the modern way to do it. But as long as I'm in your face with this, and believe me when I tell you I'm right in your face, because I'm not trying to hide anything here, these cards have karma. You don't do them right, karma's going to come bite in the ass. It's the nine of wands. Wands is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and perseverance. So you had to persevere through something. This is below you. Coming into your near future is the high priestess. All right? The high priestess, this talks about the keeper of the veil. She knows everything she needs to know. Inner, inner you know, intuition, using your intuition, okay? So, yeah. Coming into your future or into your awareness is a high priestess or you are going to be in this energy using your own intuition. All right. Here we go. Your third, your mind's eye. All right. In the back of your head, subconsciously, you're looking at this like a nine of swords. Nine of swords is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this is stress. So in the back of your head, you're looking at this like this is a stressful situation. However, in your environment... Actually, actually in your environment, not in the back of your head somewhere. What do we have? Show me. Show me for Taurus, for their higher good, please, for the collective. Eight. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. The sun. See, so there, you're in stress over here, but really in your environment is the happiest card in the deck. This is completion and ultimate happiness. This is also a Leo card. So somebody could be a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart, or this could be somebody around you or you that has Leo highly aspect. It doesn't actually have to be a Leo, right? Because we're working with energies, which is why you should know, you know, at least your four top placements, which is your sun, your moon, your rising, and your... Um, and your Venus. So if you don't know those, there's a plenty of free websites that you could go to where you put in your information and then they, they'll print it out for you. All right. So if you're not resonating with one sign, you could be resonating with another. Personally, I resonate with my rising a lot more than my sun. So, you know, that's how it goes. Okay. Your advice from spirit is, show me the advice from spirit, please. And thank you. Okay is the Eight of Cups, to detach. So your advice and spirit is to detach from the situation, whatever that be, a work situation, a friend situation, a relationship situation, a family situation, just keep yourself detached. This way you don't get no agita, right? And you're not sitting in this stress. Now, what's the most likely outcome? Don't forget we all have free will, so that could change for anybody, is the Two of Cups. Well, Cups again, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and an offer of emotion. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic offer, Although they always make it look like that to me. I always feel like the Two of Cups is an offer of romantic emotions. But it could be a, you know, a friendship coming in or just somebody caring about something. Now I'll show you the recent past. I'm going to say it again. I refuse, refuse to clarify the recent past because we, well, the past period. Because the past is in the past for a reason. We drive looking through the wheelchair, the windshield, right? We don't drive looking through the rearview mirror. Take your lessons, learn them, don't forget them, don't dwell in stagnancy there, but... You know, yeah, we don't need to clarify the past. You already know the past, right? You lived through it. Show me the past, please. The recent past for Taurus. Please and thank you, ancestors. Okay, there you go. You had a death. Well, not, um, it doesn't have to be an actual death, although if some of you did have somebody that you lost, my deepest condolences. Death is an ending and a transformation, okay? Usually, you know, the divine sends that in to shake things up because you're not moving. So there was a change in a situation, okay? At the bottom of the deck, you got the six of pentacles. Stability, okay? And this is Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Now, let's clarify. So I hope everybody's really good out there. And thank you again while I'm talking. You know, put your, your thumb could be doing something right now. I don't care. Hate me. Do it. That, that's, that could be a thing too, right? Being famous for being the most hated reader on YouTube? What the hell? I'm just here trying to help you, all right? I'm a light worker. I want to see everybody vibrate higher, everybody do better. I'm not here to trigger you. I'm not, you know, doing terror tactics, nothing like that, okay? Show me. That's the Holy Trinity. We're going to give it one more. Thank you. Okay. Also, my cards are always in the upright after every reading. So if they come out in reverse, because a lot of people don't read reversals, they're meant to be that way, all right? Show me this Two of Pentacles in reverse. What do you not need to balance anymore? What did you make a firm decision on here? Show me. Taurus, please. Could I have the trifecta? Give me a trifecta on this one. Give me. Come on. Show me. Okay. Five of pentacles in the upright. So that's loss and hardship. So, you know, yeah, there's some kind of loss and hardship that's involved with this, you know. Yeah. So whatever that is in your life. Okay. And the hierophant. So this is legal issues. This is, go you know, this is traditionalism. This is... Also, this is a Taurus card, by the way, but um, anything, you know, like um, traditional, like school, work, uh, not work, uh, judges, lawyers, the Pope, you know, things like that. There could be legal issues, like I said, that, you know, that you're going through and I hope everything turns out all right for you, Taurus. Show me. One more card, please, for Taurus. Give me the Holy Trinity here. Give me the Holy Trinity. Okay, thank you. So now we got a Seven of Pentacles, which is investing effort. So... You know, you might have been investing effort in this, uh, you know, being done with, you know, make, with making this final decision. You might have had a little effort to do it. It might have had some legal, you know, ramifications. And uh, now you got the Seven of Pentacles, which, yeah, investing effort. All right. So now show me this Queen of Cups, please, and thank you. Let's see what we have here. Show me the Queen of Cups, please, and thank you. What's going on over here? Give me a Holy Trinity, please, and thank you. Thank you. I'll say so we got one. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm psyched for you guys. So you got the six of wands. Victory and public recognition. All right, so you're victorious in something. You're being challenged. You're going to be victorious in something. But I'm not saying you're going to be on the front of the times or in the news with the public recognition. But people are going to look at you like you, you know, 
You were victorious in a situation, okay? Now you got the world. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, okay? So that's good, all right? So that, that means that good fortune is coming in your way because it's not in reverse. So it's in your favor, this Wheel of Fortune. Oh, look, we're doing the backwards. Well, at least you got to see the cards, right? <laughs> I don't know. Crazy over here in this house. As soon as my nose starts itching and the hair stands up on my arm, we'll, we'll know we're channeling here. So let's see what, what happens here. Give me one more. One more, please, and thank you for Taurus. Show me. Show me what they need to see. Thank you. So now you got the Six of Pentacles. Stability. All right? So whatever you decided over here that you made a firm decision on, you know, the challenge is to keep it stable. So keep it stable. You're good at that, Taurus, right? You're, yeah. Taurus is good at that. Show me this fool above them. What's going on with this Aries card above them? This fool that's taking a leap of faith. Okay, you got the sun. Oh my God, Taurus, listen to me. Whatever this leap of faith is, no matter how you feel about it, take it because it's going to bring you to the sun. What's the sun? Completion and ultimate happiness. This is also a Leo card, so there could be a Leo involved, like I said. And let me just tell you something else, in you know, in case you're new at Tarot or whatever. Placements are very important. The sun is coming in right above the sun. Okay, so there you go. There's, there's ultimate happiness in this. Maybe you don't see it yet. It is above you. But take that leap of faith. You got nothing to lose, right? Grow wings on the way down. You can't be any worse off than you are now, right? Try. There's no harm in trying and failing. The harm is in not trying at all, right? You don't want to lay it on your deathbed saying shoulda, coulda, woulda. Promise you that. Show me the sun. Show me the sun. Okay, thank you. Temperance. Sagittarius. So there could be Sagittarian involved somewhere in the in the mix-up over there. Or you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to bite your tongue. This guy, you know, he probably wanted to talk so bad, this bird, he put the cup in his mouth to keep his mouth shut. Just bite your tongue, turn your face. You know, if there's any, uh, anything, let these people talk to themselves. Let them go in the mirror and talk to themselves. But temper your emotions. Don't fly off the handle. Don't, you know. Yeah. Do that, Taurus. Leave them talking to themselves. All of them. Best thing you could do. The power of silence, right? Power of silence, I'm telling you. Okay, we got a flipper. Here you go. The page of pentacles. So, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you could have some incoming information, maybe about a new way to make money or a new job or something. You know, because pages usually represent abundance and finance, they go, right? So, this page, somebody younger could be involved in this that has Earth energy. So, this guy... You know, if he was a student, this is this analogy. This is the kid that would actually be going to school to learn his stuff so he could be a CEO one day. This is not the kid hanging out on the corner, you know, playing hooky, being a jerk off. So that's a trustworthy thing. Below you, this nine of wands. Show me this perseverance. Would you have to persevere through? Look at the wounded warrior over here. My own and me. Show me. Show me, please and thank you. I just put lotion on my hands. It's kind of like a... Show me, show me. Show me this page of wands, thank you. Two more, please. I need the Holy Trinity over here. Come on, give it to me. One more. Ooh, the Emperor. I see the Emperor popped out. It's in reverse, though. Come on, give it to me. One more, please, and thank you. Okay, all right, we got it. Two more. We got it. We got to take. We got to take. We got to take. All right, so now you got... All right, so it's the eight of... Um, it's the Eight of Swords in reverse. Swords is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So overthinking, you're done with the overthinking. You persevered through this. Out of sight, out of mind is what I'm hearing. Now you got the Emperor. He came in reverse. The Emperor is all abundant, right? This is the ruler of the world. It's an Aries card, so it's fire. But, you know, this guy is all four kings in one. He's not just, you know, like one of the kings. He's got all the elements. He's the ruler of the world, all right? So, but he's in reverse. So right now, yeah, that's not such a good thing. All right, so he's not really ruling anything right now, all right? Probably in bed with the blanket over his head. Now you got a page of cups. Page of cups is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be somebody younger. You could have some incoming information. Maybe it's going to be playful, communicative, friendly, trustworthy, all right? It's in reverse. Don't trust anything this person says to you. You understand that? Don't. So there could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio involved that's coming in with fugazi shit. So don't, don't, yeah, don't fall for it. Now you got the two of... Uh, pentacles, but that also came in reverse. So the weighing the options and the need of balance again. So again, that it's in reverse. You ain't even gonna be looking at this and weighing this option. So you know already. You know you see this coming. You see you probably got experience in this situation. You know. So there you go. Now coming into your near future, this high priestess here. Show me, please and thank you. Please and thank you are the magic words, right, people? I hope everybody's really good out there. You're staying cool in this heat. And while I'm over here doing this, you know, your thumb could be going back and forth. Believe me, your thumb's not even going to know what you're doing. I'm telling you. 
And you might feel good, you know? You, it might make you nice. You could be changing somebody's life. Just try it. And that's on behalf of the whole YouTube. I'm not just saying do it for me because you know what? I'm not selfish, but here you go. So now you got the five of swords. Swords, again, is air. Not going to go through the signs. I'm sure you know them. This is aggression. So there's some aggression going on over here. But you, you know everything you need to know, right? There's a high priestess involved. Somebody knows everything they need to know around here with this aggression. Probably had to stay away from it. Two of cups. Again, water. Offer of emotion. So maybe somebody's coming in with an offer of emotion, you know, it's a little aggressively. So maybe want you bad, right? Maybe. Who knows? You figure it out. You figure it out. I don't really work here. Let's see. Show me. Okay. The moon. It's coming in sideways, which means, you know, it's not about the lies and secrets or the, the truth of a man. It's coming in sideways. Maybe you're getting some information soon. When cards come in sideways, I tend to put them upright because... Yeah, we don't have no sideways shit on this channel. We're completely legit. So the moon is cancer energy. So there could be a cancer involved in this. And there's lies, secrets, deceits, mis misconceptions, things being kept. Anything hidden in the dark is going to come out in the light. So don't worry about it. You know, they're only, they're only lying to themselves, these people, when they tell lies. Sooner or later. You know, and temper your emotions. Even if you see right through it, just let it go. Fine. Fine, cool, right? Who needs this aggravation? Right? Because you don't want to be in this stress card here. You don't want to be in the stress. This nine of swords. Show me. Show me the stress. Who needs stress in this heat? I don't know. So now you got a nine. Holy shit. All right. Now you got a nine of swords. Clarifying the nine of swords. But now it came in upright. So guess what? The stress, you're done with it. You're done with it. God bless you. Okay. You're done with it. In the back of your head, you're finished. You're not going to keep getting your balls busted. Right. You're not going to do it. Why should you? You're out of the stress. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Taurus. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's how you do it around here. Let it roll right off your back. Show me this uh, out of stress for my Torians. Okay, so now you... Okay, good. So now you got the Ten of uh, Wands. This is burdens, all right? But these burdens, you know, these can be burdens that you're carrying for other people. So don't do it. If this... Crow over here, which by the way, crows are beautiful birds. Just don't be afraid of them. They are beautiful birds. I don't they have a mis you know a misconception about them. He's flapping these wings, his arms are breaking, trying to carry all these wands. Usually they're other people's excuse me, I got Aja, other people's burdens, right? If he just opens his talons and lets these things go, he could soar higher, right? And I see the Empire State Building here for some reason. I don't know why, but this is what I've been seeing, and a cruise line. So yeah. But um let me just say something about burdens. They can be picked up every day through your whole life, okay? So you don't need to be carrying burdens around. All right? Show me this uh, burdens over here. But I, you know what? I think you're probably done with it because, you know, you got this uh, in reverse over here, this stress in reverse. So good for you. So the, the, you probably saw right through this lies and deceit. This is what you did. And you said, you know what? Take your stress back. Don't carry anybody's burdens, Taurus. Do what's best for you. Show me. Show me this ten of uh, wands over here, please, and thank you. Okay, great. So now we got the page of wands. Okay, so again, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This page is, you know, he's the life of the party. He's very communicative. He's a daredevil. He's in for a good time, not for a long time. You know, so... And pages usually denote younger people. Somebody could be watching you. You could be getting some information or some incoming mail or something. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know if you're expecting something, but yeah. Okay, now show me the sun, this ultimate happiness, this Leo card. Doesn't mean there has to be a Leo in this scenario. They could have them in their placements or something like that. So it's good to know your chart. I recommend Cafe Astrology. You could go wherever you want, though. They're free. They print it out. They give you a whole thing. You can read it. And then at least you know your top four. And your north node is usually very important because that's your uh, path in life, right? Here we go. Show me the sun. Okay, so now we got this flipper. So this is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is standing your ground. So you guys are the bull. You could stand your ground better than anybody. Stand your ground. Now you got the lovers. The lovers is a choice, okay? They say, you know, they say it's a choice, but I don't know why they call it the lovers then, right? They should call it the choice card. So you might have a choice in love. I always like to look at it like, you know, the lovers. Like, ooh, we're lovers, but, you know, take it as you will. Take it as you will. There's going to be a choice. If you look up the lovers on Google or something, it says choice. Show me. Show me this lovers card. Billy, you comfortable over here or what? You helping me channel? I like it if she could read cards. Imagine that. Imagine putting on the channel and watching a little dog. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Okay, show me. Show me. 
Show me the lovers. Come on. This is not CIA information here. We're not trying to hide aliens. The hangs, man. This choice is going to put you in a timeout. You're going to have to be weighing your options. You're going to concentrate. Okay? You're going to pause for a second. A lot of people say this is like the punishment tree. You hang upside down. Somebody tied you and then you're stuck there. Not necessarily, okay? Maybe you want to put yourself in a timeout so that you could weigh your own options and figure out what's good for you, right? Take a pause for a second. Now, you're going to pause, and then Spirit is advising you to detach. So whatever this detachment is, let's see. Show me. Show me the detachment, please, and thank you. Show me the detachment. Please and thank you, ancestors. Let's do it. We've got places to go, people to see, and things to do today, right? We've got two more readings to do after this. Show me. Plus, i got to go get cards. These cards, are, it's time for new cards. All right, so now you got the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? So the Nine of Cups is changing and persevering. You're done changing. You're not going to persevere for anybody else. You're detaching. So that kind of goes together. You're going to detach. You're not, do you're not doing this. You're not going to try to persevere through situations. You're just going to detach from them at this point. Break that, right? Nobody needs their balls busted in this heat. I can tell you that. Show me. Show me. What are you done trying to, you know, meander your way through over here? Two more, please. Two more. Two more. Okay, that's one. So one is the seven of cups. Well, you know what? That's good. Because now you're going to have a lot of options. Look at all these options. There's, I mean, which cup do you choose? I don't know. Make just, You know what? Stay in that hanged man a minute and make sure you choose the right cups. You know, the easier, softer way. Stay in the flow. Taoism 101, okay? It's all about the easier, softer way. Show me. Show me. Right in your face, like it should be. You read cards, you should be able to read them in people's face, not with a narrative about hedgehogs or whatever the hell they are out there, and covens of witches. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Or begging and bartering for likes or dislikes. You want to hate me, hate me. Hit the dislike. If you like me, be nice. It's a like. You're putting your energy in. I can read it better for you. Now you got the Knight of Cups, right? This Knight, he's like the big brother. This is water energy. So he's warm, mysterious, charming, helpful, you know, playful. He's very steady. See, his horse is coming in. You know, his horse is humble. He's not running in like a crazy horse. You know, nice and steady. So this is solid. And in reverse, you got the high priestess now. So somebody's not using their intuition in this situation. All right? Maybe they don't want to see something for what it is. This is the keeper of the veil. But it's in reverse. So use your intuition. Don't don't block your intuition. You know. That's a very important thing in life. Right? Animals use it every day. So two of cups. What's this two of cups, please? And thank you. What's this offer of emotion? Sorry. Here we go. Delilah, if he is or any bigger. Delilah doesn't have a voice. I don't know why she doesn't bark. She never makes any noise. She's such a good little dog. You know, most chihuahuas are chihuahuas from hell. Though. But this one, she she dispelled any anything that you might feel about chihuahuas. Like nasty little dogs. She's nothing like that. All she does is shake. She's so timid. All right. All you want to do is protect her and hold her and love her. I keep her in a pocketbook when I go out. She just sits there. As long as you're feeding the face, right? As long as I'm feeding your face, one. I need two more, please. I need a trifecta. Give me the trifecta. Give me the trifecta this afternoon. I feel like I'm at OTB again when I was a kid. My grandfather used to send me to the OTB to make to gamble for him. <laughs> My God. Well, that's a Brooklyn way, right? They don't have OTBs anymore. I don't think it's online now. Half of you probably don't even know what an OTB is. It's off track betting, okay? The magician. Nice. So this is one, this is in the major arcana, this is manifestation. You have all the tools and everything you need to make this offer of emotion work, okay? So manifest that. Life is short, enjoy it, right? That's a good, that's a good, that's a good. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry folks, I am Italian, I am from Brooklyn, I got a sideways way of talking. I'm very abrasive when I speak, but I'm a marshmallow, I got a Pisces moon. Thank God, I, thank God I got fire placements all around that, like really strong, or I don't know, I might be getting walked on by everybody. When that, when that Pisces moon comes out, people think, you know, they want to take advantage. All right, so now you got a nine of cups. So this is change and persevering again. So you're going to, you know, you're going to manifest, you're going to change and persevere again for this situation, because that one wasn't working. That's for shit sure, right? Show me one more for this. One more. You know what? That's not a nine of cups. That's a four of cups. I can't read these Roman numeral numbers. So guess what? That's even better. Hold on. I'm sorry. So listen. 
You're going to be holding on tightly to whatever it is you're man manifesting about these emotions. You see this See this line up here? This is all for emotions. You're going to manifest this or you manifest it now. This is your most likely outcome. Forget, well, we have all free will. Don't forget that. And then four of cups because it's a four. I thought that was a ten. I thought it was an X. I don't know. It's Roman numerals. I don't even think they teach them in school anymore. And I am an old Italian lady. So it was a long, long, long time ago. But this is a four of cups. So this is holding on tightly. Whatever you're manifesting, you know, you worked hard for it. You're going to be holding on tightly to it. God bless you. Okay. One more, please, and thank you. I'm going to have to brush up on my Roman numerals if I want to use these crows cards, right? And I love these cards. I love crows. They're one of my favorite birds. If not, my favorite bird. That and blue jays. My ancestors visit me with blue jays, not with those red birds. Okay, now you got the two of wands, which is inspiration. So, yeah, you're inspired. You, look at this lineup. Of course, you're going to be inspired to hold on tightly to whatever you're manifesting with some, you know, this is always a good offer of emotion. So, yeah, hold on to that. At the bottom of the deck, this is what we have. It could be a Capricorn involved in this. You got the devil. This is anything toxic. This is, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll, oversleeping, overeating, even gossiping about somebody. Or this could be toxic people in your environment that are trying to bring toxicity in your life, in which case I say don't want the door, hit them in the ass on the way out, right? This is how that goes. This is Capricorn energy. So there could be a Capricorn involved or somebody with Capricorn in them. Now, we love our kippers in this house. Oh, my God. I love kippers so much. Kipper, you got to put your two cents into this with Taurus, please. And thank you. I love this. Two. Supposed to shuffle at least three times. That's, you know, the Holy Trinity. That's what that's about. In case you don't know, I'll try to teach you as I go. If you don't know it, we all got to start somewhere. Kipper. Oh, God. Delilah, I'm so sorry. Yep. Okay. Kipper, please. And thank you. I'll stop banging the cards like that, baby girl. I'm so sorry. Look, she's up there looking at me like what? Kipper, please show me what uh, you need to see for Taurus. Show me Taurus. What do they need to see? Please, Kipper, please and thank you. Okay, got one. Got two. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's a good thing. Here, yeah, Mink Yachts. We're going to take them all. You want to know why Taurus? Because I love you. This one came out first. There could be a marriage involved in this, okay? And it's the number three. Now you got to change something up. You have to. You could be moving. Somebody else could be moving. You know, but you got to change this, okay? This looks like the Beverly Hillbillies. You, kid, uh, you kids, listen to me. I am an old Italian lady. I just want to tell you that. Um, you know, this is like moving, okay? So, yeah. Or changing. You got to change something, all right? Maybe a living situation. Maybe a family situation. Maybe a friendship. Maybe a work situation. You figure that one out. There could be a thief in your midst, all right? So, I said three and the number nine. Now, you got 24 and four and two is six. There's a thief. And what I like to say about this card, this one's over here sticking her boobs in this degenerate's face with her Victoria push-up bra. And while she's doing that, look what this kid's doing. He's taking everything out of the pocket. So, that means that they're trying to make you look another way, all right? Don't look the other way. Look right at them. Catch them. Expectation. Somebody's expecting something, or maybe they're expecting you to act a certain way or, or be a certain way. Don't do it, all right? Because, yeah, they're trying to mislead you here. This is misleading somebody. You got 28, and 8 and 2 is 10. Okay, now we'll do it. We're going to go this way. 7. You could be getting an important message. You could be getting a message in the mail. Maybe you're expecting a message, okay? There's a mature woman involved in this. That's number 7. This is number 6. Hold on. 4 and 2 is 6, and 6. So now you got two 6s on the board. Now you got 19, a coffin. I'm very sorry if you lost somebody. I usually don't say death with the death card, but the fact that this kipper always, you know, is a coffin, you might be losing somebody. I'm very sorry for that, okay? But if you're not, there's just going to be a change in transformation in a situation. So number 19 or 9 and 1 is 10. Now you got sudden wealth. 777 could be a number. If you see it, you know, these are angel codes. Any sequence of numbers usually three or more, my advice to you is just put the numbers into Google and it'll pop up to tell you what you, that, that's a, a message from your personal spirit guides, you know, your angels. So it's number 11 or a two, sudden wealth. So somebody might pass away, okay? It could involve a mature woman. You're going to get a message about it. You might be expecting this already. And it, you know, it's going to bring some sudden wealth for somebody. That's a number 11 or a two. So yeah. All right. Now you got adjudication. So there might be some legal issues around this. All right, number 30. And then toil and labor. So this is 38, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm not a mathematician. I'm a card reader. Toil and labor. So something you might have to work hard for something. You know, you might be having to work hard. Also, there could be a child involved in this, 18 or 9. Now, let's get some hidden truths. Hidden truths on this one. Okay, while well, I'm shuffling and over here, you know, jabbing at the jaw, you know what your thumb could be doing, right? Give your thumb a little exercise. 
Okay, so let's, let's do one more. All right, Delilah does not like when I slam those cards. I'm sorry, Dilly, we have to. In your face, see, in your face. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. We're not doing terror tactics on this channel to try to draw you in, all right? And I'm not begging and bartering for likes or dislikes, you know. Do what you feel is right. I left you before you could leave me. I feel, I feel you even though we're apart. So either you feel this way about somebody or somebody feels this way about you. These are the hidden truths, okay? The hidden truths. I gotta, I gotta really order some cards, you know, like I'm really being kicked in the ass. It's time for me to heal now. So somebody's trying to heal. Heal, heal and move forward in a positive direction, always. So many things remind me of you, and sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So either that's you or somebody else. I'm starting to understand our connection. So there's that. Now we got these little love messages, so I'm gonna give you those and then we'll let you on your way. Again, I'd like to thank you for being here. I'd like to thank you for subscribing if you feel so guided. Thank you, profusely thank you for hitting a like or a dislike, whatever you feel guided to do. You know, personally, I like to put my good energy out there. I don't want any more bad karma in my life. Been there, done that, learned my lessons, yeah. Very mindful of my thoughts, my words, and everything. Well, I curse a lot, but you know, it's, they say people who curse are exponentially smarter than people who don't. I don't know, look it up. So you got this one, that's a nice card. And this is, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. That's right, follow your heart, Taurus. Show me, oh geez, that one fell on the floor. How am I supposed to get it with this fat little dog on my lap? Me, yeah, it's, oh my God. Okay, here. You know what, I don't, this reminds me of the Hermit card, but I don't want you to think I'm up to anything for Gazy, because I know when I don't see them, I'm, I'm looking sideways at these readers, a lot of them. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay, so that's that card. And surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And at the bottom of this, you have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. All right, Taurus, so that's your read for this week. And I really appreciate that you stopped by. Everybody say hello to little Dilly. She's such a good little girl. This is our new little spirit guide. She's going to be with us through all the readings from now on. Okay, she helps me channel. And uh, on that note, until next time, if you would like to make a donation or book a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Always remember to lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God because karma is real. In case someone told you today, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Love and light.